Flash flooding in windward Oahu tonight, closing a portion of the highway. And less than an hour ago, the National Weather Service extended the flash flood warning into early tomorrow morning. The heavy rain moved in late this afternoon, causing water to rapidly rise in the Waikana area, forcing the closure of Kamehameha Highway near Waihole Valley Road and making for dangerous driving conditions. The Honolulu Fire Department helped rescue a husband and wife when they got trapped in their car because of the rushing and rising water. They were not hurt. And on the H1 freeway tonight, traffic backed up following a crash in the eastbound lanes near the Ward overpass. EMS says a 38-year-old man was taken to the hospital in serious condition after crashing into the median and was possibly ejected. The roads are slick. And with more on this weather, let's head over to Kelly Simon. Kelly? That's right, Kathy. Widespread and heavy showers continue with us. Oahu Emergency Management has reported flash flooding continuing parts mainly over windward Oahu. Kapa'a Quarry is closed due to high water, and vehicles are reported stranded due to high water on Waihole Valley Road. Now, as you can see, Oahu just completely becomes engulfed in this rainfall and widespread rainfall, although the heavy showers mainly focused on that one area. Now, although most heavy rains have diminished over Oahu, light to moderate winds rains continue over the island and it will take some time for flooding from the earlier rains to subside but current radar imagery indicates heavy rainfall looks like redeveloping over the Ko'olau's up, up slope from Waikani stream rainfall rates are around estimated about two inches per hour so very heavy rainfall and that may further aggravate existing flooding in the Waikane stream therefore that flash flood warning has been extended and that's expected to be lasting with us until 12 15 in the early morning hours of tomorrow we'll let you know if the national weather service extends that we'll continue coverage on this rainfall tomorrow morning but speaking of tomorrow it looks like some improving conditions all the details coming up and i'll send it back over to kathy